What's up, you guys? This is your boy, Jay Mendoza. Welcome back to Envy Barrio, presented by Rocket Mortgage, where we highlight Latinos making a mark in the city. Today, we got one of my good friends. She's a multimedia personality. She's a creator. She works in the music business. She's done a little bit of everything. My friend, hey. Jessica Perry. It's crazy. We've known each other for years, and this is like a full circle moment for us. Where are we? We're here in Torrance, California, in this beautiful area. This is the area that trained me mentally, physically, emotionally, and I'm so excited to tell you why. So Beautiful. tell us, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? Who is Jessica Flores? That's a really loaded question. <laughs> well, obviously after last year, which was a difficult year for all of us, I've kind of had a reset. So this year I've just been focusing on, I guess, harnessing my own talents and figuring out what I could do with my own personal brand. Uh -huh. But I've done a lot, I mean, ranging from radio, working in the tech world, She musically. was one of the original people at TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I was there doing a lot of stuff for Latin America and producing radio shows here on Power 106 and Radio Disney and I had my own reggaeton show here on Cali 93.9 and so yeah it's been an, an insane journey for sure. So I like to ask everybody this question. I grew up in LA, you grew up in LA, Yes. but we all have a different experience but similar. What was your journey just growing up in LA? Well I mean I come from immigrant parents so like my dad's uh, you know born and raised Jalpa Zacatecas. My mom is from Cali, Colombia so they came here and I mean, yeah, they started off just wanting to build and they created a beautiful life for me and my siblings. So I was raised in this area, but interestingly enough, where I went to school in middle school and um, elementary school, there wasn't a lot of kids that looked like me. Yeah. So I never, it was very difficult for me to feel proud of where I was from because yeah. everyone around me was it's telling different. me, well, you're different, you're yeah, weird, yeah. you know, there's something off about you. Like, what do you mean your parents can't speak perfectly? Or, you know, what do you mean you like Spanish music? So I definitely battled a lot of those, you know, identity issues just because I was like, there's like, nobody that looks like me out here. Best of both worlds, Colombia <laughs> and Mexico, yes. which is two different worlds. Two different foods. That's like what you go yeah. through too. Salvadorian and Mexican. Yeah. yeah, so we could definitely relate on that. <laughs> hey, mixed households. <laughs> So we're here at the Avenue C. That's what these steps are called, right? These steps right here to me built me right here. This built my toughness. This hey, built man. everything. I think these stairs need to build me. <laughs> Come through, I got you. These stairs will kick your butt any day. Yeah. Well, I would run from all the way down here, all across the Strand, and my dad, he, since I was little, would be like, you're gonna do 10 of these stairs, you're gonna run it fast. I don't care if you die, like, just suck it up. So since I was little, but and this then- is like it's steep, but it's a steps. lot of them. It's a lot of them, and trust me, it's crazier when you're actually in the vibe doing it, your legs are shaking. These were our go-to steps to train. So all along, would you say that you think he was training you for soccer, or when did you fall in love with soccer? Because I know you played soccer your whole life. I, play, I played since I was five, and I think at my first game, I tried a lot of different sports, by the way, but soccer was the only one I was like super good at. I just kind of kept it going from there, but my dad was always a runner, so it, it was for soccer, but also just his mentality is, work out you know put your body through a lot because you know what it's going to just train you to yeah. be tough and to work through that pain and push your limits so you know what you're capable of yeah. and that's what my dad that was his whole philosophy so so do you want to tell everybody where you played yes i played at usc i played there um one year actually because then i decided i kind of wanted to pursue more of an entertainment but just getting there and being able to play amongst incredible athletes yeah. and legendary Emails and, and just being around the football team and that energy was yeah. insane. So it was yeah. one of my biggest accomplishments. And how did you even become a Rams fan? Or what, what, at what point did you say, I'm gonna be a Rams fan? Okay, interestingly enough, I mean, obviously when they came back to LA, that was a huge plus. But when I was little, I'd watch my brothers play um, Madden. Yeah. And I would always choose the Rams because they would always have the craziest yeah. ratings yeah. on there. So I was, even when I was little, I yeah. loved the Rams. I'm like, this is my team. And then when it, obviously they came back to LA, I was like, Gotta be Rams Full fan. circle, this is full circle from there right now. <laughs> Any advice for Latinas out there who are coming up that want to be just like Jessica Flores? Ah, that, that's so crazy because I remember even being younger and being like, how can I be like this person or that person? First thing I would, I, and I always lead with this, my favorite quote, feel the fear, but do it anyway. I say yeah. this all the time because anytime you're gonna get into any industry, whether it's tech, you wanna start your fashion, your blush business, you wanna be a radio personality, you wanna do music, you're gonna be so scared the first time you're on site for a job, the first time you're hosting, yeah. the first time you're doing anything. You just gotta do it and don't be afraid to reach out to people you look up to, you admire. Make sure that you follow something that is your purpose. When you're thinking about purpose, I mean, I think it comes down to two things. What's something you're good at, something you can monetize, and yeah. something that you're passionate about. And I think you're gonna be super happy doing those things. 
and own own your culture. Yeah. I think because for it. so long I didn't. It's so nice to be able to be proud and be around and collaborate with people like you because we really own who we are and that's a beautiful thing. Well, there you guys have it. Jessica Flores, Jay Mendoza. Thank you for... Love you, brother. Love you, brother. <laughs> More to come. Episode of Emmy Barrio. Peace. <laughs>